that our judges and the judges have my post of our final to the and pretty to our five finalists and to Lee Greenwood. The judges have finished their job. Each has made a choice for the winner and the four runners-up. It won't be long before we know the name of the new Miss USA. I'm here now with Yvonne Reading, am I right? Yeah, that's okay. The beautiful young lady from Sweden who was crowned Miss Universe last July in Miami. How are you feeling tonight? Well, it doesn't seem possible Another six weeks, my year will be over and someone else will be Miss Universe. You're absolutely right about that. Designer Don Shirley's already started to work on the sets. Elliot Lawrence and Sid Smith on the musical numbers. And Bob and I have already picked out our tuxedos. So it's full speed ahead for Miami and the Miss Universe pageant on July 15th. Are you looking forward to it? Mm, um, I'm looking forward to the Miami and the pageant, but I'm not to giving up the crown. <laughs> well, let me just tell you something. Whoever the new Miss Universe is, she's going to have an awfully hard act to follow. Thank you, Joan. <laughs> but before we think about a winner in Miami on July 15th, I'm wondering who 
going to be our winner in Lakeland on May 13th. Well, you and absolutely everybody else, and lucky for all of us, we're just about to find out. Because the judge's decision, the big moment is coming right up after this word from Cheer. For our reigning Miss USA, May Shanley, to take her traditional walk, deliver her words of farewell, and accept our congratulations on a job well done. Here is Miss USA, May Shanley. Last May, on this stage, I couldn't believe that I had been chosen to spend the next year as Miss USA. Tonight, I can't believe the year is over. For their loving support to my parents, family, and friends in New Mexico, I send my love. To the pageant people for making me a part of their family, my deepest gratitude. To all the people around the country who have opened their arms to me, I'll never forget your kindness. And to my successor, along with my congratulations, I send the sincere hope that her year will be as wonderful as mine was. I couldn't wish anyone more than that. Thank you. I'm about to pick up the final computer tabulating results listing our forerunners up and our new Miss USA. These results have been reviewed by representatives of the international firm of Ernst & Winnie, and they will be given to me by Mr. John Labarca of that firm. John, stay here for just a moment. I want to get down by you. I want to explain that there was a mix-up at the swimming pool, and he got my tan. That's what happened. Thank you, John. Now. Before I read this list, I'd like to take a moment to say something about all the young women who have appeared on this stage tonight. Each of them made a contribution to this pageant and to the two weeks leading up to it here in Lakeland. While our attention now necessarily turns to our finalists here, I want to thank and congratulate each of the 51 ladies we met this evening. Before, yes, they deserve that applause. Before I read the results, I want to say on behalf of everyone associated with the pageant that we would be proud and happy to have any one of you reign as Miss USA for the next year. Good luck to all of you. Now, I shall begin by reading the fourth runner-up. The fourth runner-up is Miss Minnesota. The third runner-up is Miss Louisiana. The second runner-up is Miss Illinois. Well done, Miss Illinois. Both of you step right down here, please. Now, Miss Texas, Miss New Mexico, one of you is about to become Miss USA. The other will be the first runner-up. And this is a very important position because if for any reason Miss USA cannot fulfill her obligation for the entire year, then the first runner-up will become Miss USA. Ladies and gentlemen, I shall read the first runner-up and then Miss USA. The first runner-up is Miss New Mexico. Miss Texas is Miss USA. Congratulations. I would just say that in our pageant, Miss Texas has been the first runner-up so often, and Laura Elena Herring has done it for her state. The cash awards and all the magnificent prizes are yours, Laura. 
and also the chance to be our country's representative in Miami, Florida for the Miss Universe pageant on July 15th. Now, as your predecessor, May Shanley, reads the Miss USA Creed, why don't you walk right out here and show everyone how happy you are to be the new Miss USA. pageant in order to further the cause of peace, justice, and mutual understanding to solemnly dedicate ourselves to the highest ideals of sportsmanship, friendship, and goodwill among all people of the United States. Lauda Herring from El Paso, Texas is the new Miss USA. She's 21 years old, 5 feet 7 inches tall, and weighs 112 pounds. Her hair and eyes are dark brown. Lauda's plans for the future include modeling and furthering her education in commercial arts. She's fluent in three languages, and she enjoys skiing, antiquing, and jewelry collecting. Laura, I'm sure that everyone would like to know who will be the first person you call. Sergio Bermudez. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Sergio Bermudez. And why will you make this call? Because I want him to know that I finally fulfilled my goal and I'm so happy tonight. Thank you all very much. Now, what are you going to do with all of this money that you have won? I want to invest it in the stock market. <laughs> very good. Now, this is Bob Barker. On behalf of Laura and all of us for the pageant, saying thank you. Good night, everyone. Well, it's a big night here, but it's a bigger night in the heart of Texas than it's a bigger night in El Paso, because the girl they know as, know as Lauda Herring is now known to everyone as Miss USA. Next stop for her, for us, and hopefully for you, too, is Miami on July 15th for the Miss Universe pageant. Thank you all. Come together. 